The chief economist for Moody's Analytics, Mark Zandi, just announced in an interview that the worst is over for the housing market. But what he has to say isn't all positive. So I'm going to break down his predictions as well as other economists' predictions for the future of the housing market. So let's just jump right in. But speaking of analytics, 90% of you watching have not subscribed to my channel. So if you get any value out of these videos, please subscribe. It helps my videos reach more people just like you. And of course, I would very much appreciate it. And if you've been following the real estate market at all, you know that 2023 was a very slow year in a lot of ways, but even with it being a slower year, it still outperformed most economists' predictions of what was gonna happen in the real estate market. And now that that has happened, more predictions are starting to fall in line with one general theme, which is kind of what Mark Zandi is saying here. They pretty much all agree that the worst is over for the housing market, but Mark Zandi is cautioning that not too much is going to change and not too drastically until we see the Fed actually start to lower rates this spring. And until that happens, it's probably going to remain mostly flat, according to the economists. And Zandi thinks even when those rate cuts do start to happen, it will take several years for the market to normalize. But what does it mean for a market to normalize? Well, the Wells Fargo senior economist Charlie Doherty says it looks a lot more like it did in 2018 and 2019, but he thinks we'll see that normalization in 2024. So even though their timeline is slightly different, they both do think that the market will normalize. And what market normalizing means to me when I'm thinking about when I was serving clients in 2018 and really 2014 up to 2018 is that buyers and sellers both have a pretty equal chance of winning. And by winning, I mean that they buy and sell on terms that they're very happy with. It's easy to move. You don't feel like you're stuck. You don't feel like there's not enough options on the market. So it's a great environment, in my opinion, to buy or sell a house in. And I really do hope we see that sooner than later. And Doherty also says that lower rates seem to be energizing the housing market. And I've seen this same thing happen since the rates dropped from the high sevens, really the eight range, down into the mid sixes. I've seen a lot more activity in the market and a lot more buyer action. And on top of this prediction, Realtor.com's chief economist, who I'm sorry, I can't pronounce their name, says, we're at a turning point. This could be a sign that the market is opening up and we could see more people moving and buying and selling this spring. And while these economists are making these predictions, it's important to note that almost all of them say that they're just waiting to see what's going to happen in the spring market. And that's the same time that the Fed is supposed to lower their benchmark rate for the first time by a quarter point. So a lot is riding on what happens this spring because during the winter, typically not much happens in the real estate market. It's generally a much slower time. Just historically, if you look back, it's a very slow time as far as volume goes. So spring is going to be a big tell in what's going to happen in the economy and in the housing market. And everyone is waiting for that to happen. And one thing that could help that inventory is issue is new construction builders increasing their housing starts and new construction single family homes are expected to increase how many they're building by 5.5% this year over last year, which would be a huge help. But we have to remember the first sign of any slowing in the market and these builders will throttle back and stop building those homes. The last thing they want to do is keep homes on the market and hold inventory and have to cut prices. But some more good news on the new construction front is that recently the vice president of forecasting at the National Association of Home Builders said that it looks like residential construction has bottomed out and things are looking better this year. And to summarize here, so many economists are using these terms like bottomed out and the worst is over, signaling a positive outlook for the real estate market and the economy going into 2024 and the following years. So I'm curious, do you agree with this? Do you think the market is looking up? Do you think it's gonna remain flat for much longer than they're predicting? Or do you think there's gonna be some kind of major catalyst to send prices downward? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always curious to hear your opinions. And if you're curious what is happening in the Maryland real estate market specifically, that is what I'm an expert in. I make plenty of videos on what's happening in Maryland right now, what's going on in 2024, and whether or not you should buy in this market and where you should buy. So head over to my channel if that's you, binge on those videos, and then let me know if you need any help. And as always, if you like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all of my videos about moving to Maryland.